Lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and welcome to our daily financial outlook. Join us today as we survey the business world for the latest events and updates in the markets. Michael is helping today from our trading room. British Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt said inflation was on track to halve by the end of 2023 vowing to focus on the goal as he laid out his priorities ahead of the reopening of Parliament after the summer break. SoftBank Group Corp has lined up some of Arm's biggest customers as strategic investors for the chip company's initial public offering, including Apple, Nvidia, Intel and Samsung Electronics. China's trade and inflation data for August are expected to show a contraction in exports and imports, but at a slower pace than in July. Despite the improvement in the data, economists warn that China's growth outlook is uncertain due to weak global demand for Chinese goods and a slump in the property market. The oil dollar pair skyrocketed 2.9% in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The gold dollar price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The euro-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The CCI indicates an oversold market. The dollar-yen price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. Germany's exports will be released at 0600 hours GMT. Germany's imports at 0600 hours GMT. Germany's trade balance at 0600 hours GMT. Spain's unemployment change will be released at 0700 hours GMT. The UK's BRC like-for-like -like retail sales at 2300 hours and 1 minute GMT. Korea's gross domestic product growth at 2300 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.